Hi, it's Sage from the Saskatoon Public Library. I'm in my home on Treaty 6 territory, traditional homeland of the Métis. And in today's Born and Buster, we are going to make these fabulous paper rainbow flowers. And as you can see, there are six colors that are part of this rainbow. And that's important because they're part of the Pride community's rainbow flag. And I'm gonna share this story um, when we're doing our Pride Parade story time on Saturday, June 20th. But I was gonna share a little bit about from, from this book because as it's called Rainbow, a first book of Pride, it explains all the colors that are part of the Pride Rainbow. I thought that would be something that would kind of help get us started on our craft today. So red means life. Orange is for healing. Yellow for sunlight. Green is nature. Blue is for harmony. And violet or purple is for spirit. So come on. Let's get started. For today's Born and Buster, we are going to make rainbow paper flowers. And the things that you will need to collect from around the house are colored paper. So I use construction paper. And um, we're gonna do six different colors. So you'll need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And then you'll need a piece of paper, any color you wish, for what, which you're gonna put um, as your background for our flowers. You'll need a pencil, you'll need a glue stick, and a pair of scissors, and maybe a black marker and a green marker, or pencil crayons or crayons. And then you will need something to use as your template for a circle. So I grabbed this glass because this is the size of circle that I wanna cut. And I also found a really small circle in the house, so we will use this one as well. So look around your house for something that you can trace to make a perfect circle. So what we will do is I'm just gonna do the red one first. So you put your glass down on the paper, and I try not to waste paper, so I put my glass really close to the corner, hold it down with one hand, grab your pencil on the other, and then just trace a circle around the mouth of the glass, just like that. Ta-da! Pretty hard to see, <laughs> but there is my circle up close. And I think I will also do a little one as well, mine as well, so I'll do that one right beside. I put a finger down to keep my, my template down flat so it doesn't move, and I trace around the outside of that circle. Perfect, all right. Now we're going to cut them out. So very carefully cut along the template or your penciled circle. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but just do the best you can as long as it's circle-ish, right? Because in nature, rarely is something absolutely perfect. All right, so there's one circle, and then we'll cut out the teeny tiny one. a bit there we go it's kind of easier sometimes to make your paper a bit smaller so it's easier to manage when you're cutting something there all right we've got two circles and I'll put my paper to the side all right so you want to cut a circle in every color and rather than bore you to tears with me cutting circles in every color I went ahead and cut them myself before I started recording so I have got colors of circles just like this now with every circle that you make bend them in half and you know what this reminds me of a taco <laughs> yum yum it does right half a circle looks like a taco all right so you want to bend or fold all your circles in half i'm just going to reinforce those like this my big one and then my teeny tiny one i'll show you up close what i do so you're bending in half and this is a little mini taco imagine if we had little mini tacos actually this size they're like the perfect bite-sized taco <laughs> okay so now 
get out your background color. Maybe you have white, maybe you have a different color. It's totally up to you. And I'm gonna show you what it's going to look like. The first color in our rainbow is red. So let's put the red down first. And of course, this is just to give you an idea. Then we're gonna go ahead and, and glue everything down. But we'll have red, and then we'll do, actually, let's go the way the rainbow looks. Red, then orange. And they're not gonna be completely together in the middle because we, have, we need space for them to all kind of fan out. So you might have to manipulate things a little bit. Red, orange, then yellow. Can you tell me what color comes next? Yes, green, good, and then blue, and then purple. And we're gonna turn it that way. See, it doesn't quite fit on the page, so actually, let's just look if that looks better. Yes, that looks good. Okay, so that's what we're going to, to glue down. Do you all see how pretty that is? Right? Okay, so where's my glue? There we are. All right, so I'm gonna take the red one and we're only gonna glue one side. Where's my background? There. I need like a, a scrap piece of paper to glue so I don't wanna get the glue on everything. All right, so we're only gonna do one side of our paper. One side of that taco is glued and make sure that it's facing this way. Okay, and then we're gonna press down. There, so only this side, this part is actually glued. Good, now we'll do the orange one next. Oops, got a bit of glue on that. And this one, you wanna do, yeah. I'm gonna try and get it as close as I can to the red one. There, how's that? Not bad. There's the red one. Now comes the yellow one. And then we'll put that one there. Press down. Now the green one. Like that. And the blue one. It's gonna go like that. And you can really put your colors in any, any way you want. It's your design. But I'm choosing to put them in the order um, of the rainbow. The last one is purple. Okay, and we'll do this. Ta-da! Okay, now do you see there's a little white bit in the middle? I'm just gonna take a little bit of black marker, and maybe I could have done this first. I'm gonna color that in. I think next time I will do that first, because <laughs> it's kind of hard to do. There. Next time we will do a circle. All right, not bad. Not bad. Now I'm gonna take my green marker, and I'm just going to make a stem. Oh, my green marker is kind of dried out. I hope you can see that line. No, not so great. Let's do it again. I'll hold it up closer to the camera. There. Not the best green marker I've ever had. <laughs> okay, so there's one. And now let's do our little teeny tiny ones as well. So I got all my little colors here, my little circles. And I'm going to do the same design, but I'm going to start them looking a little bit different. So instead of the red being on the bottom, we're gonna put on the top, red, orange, yellow. You know what? Why don't I listen to my words? And we're gonna make a circle first. Remember? I made that suggestion. Okay, black circle. Let's see if this works. Red. Now comes orange. Good, now next is yellow. Next is green. Next is blue. Oops. And the last one is purple.
Yeah, I like that better with the black. Whoops, the black circle first. I think that looks better. Okay, and then you're gonna pretend this is green. <laughs> and we're gonna just do that. And then we'll do two little leaves that look like arms. We'll do the same here. There. All right, so here's my picture. It's a three-dimensional rainbow paper flowers. Happy Pride!